know what's up, girl. What's the girl my way? Here at my treasure box. Listen now. For my Leos. My Leos. Where my Leos at? Because it's almost our season. Y'all already know people, you know, they sick of what they're like. Y'all always talking about it. Leo season lasts all fucking year long. Y'all been letting them know. Fuck that shit. It is what it is. We are who we are. But this cancer season been teaching us a lot of lessons and bringing a lot of clarity because you know cancers are very intuitive very very intuitive any sign like any sign that, that has a water element are very intuitive and in, or intelligent a combination of both i'm just saying so that water signs that'd be cancer scorpio and pisces pisces that's the god face the man on earth right there so they born with my right eyes will keep on jumping listen my leos i'm gonna tell y'all what this cancer season supposed to be teaching us okay because we've been going through some shit on down to love, then fighting with family, and then figuring out, like, damn, sometimes it seems like when you get along with your family, your love life starts to go better. And when you're not getting along with them, then it gets shitty. But damn, this can't be right. Like, what the fuck is really going on? Like, I don't did everything. Like, I look, I've been being good. I don't change my ways and stuff. I don't throw to my player cards. Y'all don't feel bad. I had asked God, I say, God, can I get my whole car back? Guess what? Jesus pushed me down the stairs. It's all good, though, y'all. So I told him that was really messed up. Because I want them back from back in the days. But hey, he said, bitch, that was back in the days, bitch. Not now, nah, uh-uh. So my Leo's first thing it is with this cancer season. Is it safe for us to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The next lesson is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. The third one is to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The fourth one is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together very soon. Clearly decide what you want and so that it comes to you now. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold unnaturally. And guess what? The bottom of the deck is getting to know each other. So once you start to get, once that that that, that other side of you, once y'all connect back together, y'all start to get to know each other, you realize a lot of stuff. You realize your value. You realize like, damn, I, I don't wear my whole life feeling some type of way. And it's like I was feeling some type of way because I was really special. Like I was really like he gave his toughest battle to his to his strongest soldier. And we don't see it like that, but that's really what it is. You think about it. Everybody don't went through a hard life. I don't give a fuck if they don't kill somebody. They in prison. That's because people like we got real fucking hearts. Our hearts pump blood, not it don't pump the Kool Aid. And we could demagnetize our heart because yeah, like I said, on this earth your heart is a magnet. It's like a magnet. Because the earth, everything going around, the energy is like a vacuum cleaner. It's like a suctioning. And it's like once you get in alignment, that's when that spirit it gets sucked up and goes to that high realm. So we're going to see what's going on, my Leos, this cancer season. So what my Leos got going on this cancer season? Because my Leos say they don't been putting in work. I just want a peace of mind. Then my Leo say, damn, I was wondering sometimes, do I even want to be in a relationship? I'm so used to being like this. Now, like, I don't know if I could do it. Like, but you know, if it, if, if you, you feel like you ain't even going to run into that right one no more. But that one you thought was that right one, that motherfucker, that can can it. That's a, that's a wrap. The cards don't flew out. That's a wrap, y'all. Oh, look, first card is judgment. The first damn card was damn judgment. Ain't that some shit? When you know judgment, that's like, shut up, bitch. Jesus talking. Uh-huh. The bottom of the deck. We got the moon. That's seeing through this deception. Your eyes are open now, my Leo. Congratulations. Because this ain't like we been asleep. It's just the fact that we love so damn hard to the fact that we we pay out. We You got to think about everything in this world. It's, it's, it's like... We living in the matrix. It's glitches in the matrix. Sometimes you can catch it. Sometimes you go out the door, you ever notice everything is still. But I'm just saying, maybe it's just me or whatever. Y'all, my Leo's, my Leo gang, y'all should know about this. Listen, when I tell you we are living in the matrix, my Leo's, when you go out there and you see things that other people do, we don't know if people fucking playing with us. They dead ass serious, y'all. I learned they be really serious. People really slow. And we be thinking they playing with us and we playing back. 
That's why they think we full of shit. Cause judgment say, look. It said, look at here. This motherfucker you was dealing with, right? This motherfucker you was dealing with. This how this go. This person you was dealing with. Some y'all could have been dealing with somebody like some of my Leo women. Y'all could have been dealing with a, a nigga, a dude. And you feel like this dude was messing with another dude. Correct. Vice versa, if it's a female, you know, like, but I'm just saying, like, little birdie came in the ear, and it, it could have been they homeboy, like, come on, y'all too close to be homeboys and all that stuff right there. And then they always got something to say. That's the thing about it. And so my Leo's, my, my Leo said, I got to cut, something got to cut out, because for one, I don't, I don't want no parts in nothing like this. I don't want no parts in it. So it's like, my Leo's know what time it is. My Leo's know like, okay, this full of shit, this motherfucker got me in this third party situation, so on, so on. One thing about it, if a Leo is doing anything, you ain't gonna fucking know it, okay? But I'm telling anybody out there that's dating a Leo, don't sleep on us, okay? Okay. We know how to play chess. We don't play chess because y'all don't play with us. Not fucking play with us because we too nice. We too good people. Y'all don't want to go there with us. Y'all don't want to go there with her. Y'all know, y'all know the way my Leo's and my Leo's, y'all know how we get down. Y'all know how we do it. Anyway, my Leo's, this motherfucker, I'm gonna say, what the hell feel like? This person thought that the grass was greener on the other side. You been going back and forth with this person. It's probably been the past five months because some news came out. Something came out with this person. So information came out. The person was always been half assing you. You knew that, but you got so much love and you like you feel like this your person. Yeah, that was your person. And that was your person for that time and purpose. And it was a soulmate that was to teach you a lesson. You probably felt like it was a twin flame. My dumb ass did. It's all good. Y'all play as fuck up. Don't tell nobody, okay? But anyways... It is what it is. They nickel and dime you. And guess what? That same one person nickel and dime you. My Leo said, fuck that shit. Okay? My Leo said, I'm moving on to some some old better shit. I'm moving on to some better shit. To the fact that I'm done. I'm tired. I'm bossed up. I can do anything that you can do. Put it like this. Everybody, and don't take this the wrong way. For my for my for my Leo women. We are really boys trapped in girls' bodies. So it ain't really too much that a, a dude can do for us besides fuck us, feed us, or finance us. And goddamn it, we can do that. We, we can fuck ourselves. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They got new stuff out, too. Then feed, we can feed ourselves. We can finance ourselves. So it's like... The only way Leo going to put up with bullshit, if Leo is really where they at, need to be at that third level, the only way they going to put up with bullshit, you got to be their equal. And we know when to bow, we know when to bow down to stay in our lane and shut up. Like, we know that stuff. But we're not going to have nobody leading us the wrong way and we know they full of shit because we don't went through that too much. Fuck that shit. Hell no. Nah. Ain't nobody finna keep going through that shit. Anyways, whoever you're dealing with, this person dealing with somebody else. And you already know it. You feel like that anyway. Some of y'all know who this is, but y'all personally, they homeboy. Y'all know what time it is. Somebody tired. Somebody tired. I don't know if y'all, this person y'all are with, y'all are with this person because they're financially stable. I don't know if that's what the case is. This is what this this is what this cancer season teaching us. I'm gonna give y'all a whole recap at the end. My Leo say, I'm on my own shit. I'm holding down myself. I'm I'm getting my shit together. Then you got one you got somebody Leo Sagittarius or Avery trying to come back towards you. Somebody trying to come back towards you. They may be the younger than you or they may be a little they may be younger than you or they be may just be immature. But whoever this person is, you thought you could have something with this person. And that's like some real, like, you start, st you stepping into your glory right now. And that's just what the truth is. And you feel like, okay, everything going to manifest. You're going to be, you feel like you've been with this person in the past life. Now, whoever this person is, the per the sex is very good. The sex is off the motherfucking chain. And you got that, you, you're so deeply connected and in tune that you feel it. You know that this person is from a past life. And you feel like, that's why you feel like this is your twin flame. Nope, that was your motherfucking karmic soulmate. I don't know. Let me finish saying, but so far, that motherfucking ego that that person got, hell no. They can't live. Like, Leo, we don't deal with that shit. And we see it for what it is. Leo, like, fuck that. I don't give a damn how good the sex is. All it takes for one goddamn time for you to aggravate me and get on my damn nerves or you to damn fucking yell at me and talk talk to me any kind of way. Bitch, it's, it's a wrap. Listen, this could be a... Y'all... Really is soulmates. It's really y'all really soulmates. You may you bring this person, you lighten this person world though, whoever you really do. But it's like this person this person may have a cancer moon. 
they bring you half it. Only thing they do is break your heart. They put you on. They put you on blame, bitch. They break your heart, cause they don't have their guards up so goddamn long and shit. And and it's like they feel like they got a, a a whole brand new beginning with everything. So yeah, guess what? They thinking about trying to figure out how they gonna come back, my Leos, cause they see you, my Leos. What they see is I I walked away from the wrong motherfucking person. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Can I get this back? Because my Leo's ain't my Leo's moving in silence right now. Real niggas moving silence. Excuse me to everybody. I have a lot of person. If I say the N word, it's no disrespect. It's just a term. It's just a form of um. It's just a metaphoric form of being ghetto, and you know, like it's a characteristic. So please don't take that the wrong way, okay, you guys? Because I love everybody. Listen, if you feel you that damn sense, I don't know what to tell you because I don't know how to be, I don't know how to give it to you no more than just be real with the shit. Because whoever it is, they realize they fucked up. Because some of my Leos on here are very spiritual, very highly, highly spiritual, highly intuitive, in tune with the universe. You know, once you learn astrology, especially that race center astrology, it takes you somewhere. On down so you can break the houses on the zodiac chart down to like you got your cardinal, your suspended houses, your angular houses. You can break it out with the lobes of the brain. Oh yeah, it don't don't even play. Listen, y'all, I got something to ask y'all. Well, I get sidetracked. I got ask y'all. About ten years ago, not ten, about I'm I'm lying. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't mean to do that. I caught myself. About eight years ago. I was aware that the CDC had all these disposable coffins, right? So somebody, and I can't remember who it was, said, what you think they're going to do with them coffins? I said, well, they're going to introduce another black plague. They were like, what you mean? I said, they're going to do it to our kids through immunizations. Everybody knows that loud out. So, okay, the black plague don't care. Y'all know it's the coronavirus, right? And now what are they doing? They don't got an immunization for that shit. Now, I'm not telling nobody what to do, but I'm going to tell you because I've worked in the field for, like, since 2003. Every vaccination that you get, they're actually giving you what that disease is. It's just watered down so much so your body can build an antigen to fight it off if it ever comes in, in contact with it again. Listen, y'all. They don't put a lot of people in them disposable coffins. I'm just saying because I love my Leos. I'm putting y'all on point because we're the ones that's going to stand our ground and we're going to tell them what it like it is. Other signs kind of, they be scared, they'll bow down. But a Leo, when we know, we know, we know, we know. That's on some real stuff. Anyway, let's keep this moving. My Leos, my Leos on their shit and on boss the fuck up. Like that person doing you like that was the best thing that could happen on some real shit. Oh, they see it now. They motherfucking see it. Oh, when I say they fucking see it, they don't like it. They don't like it. They see they fucked up. They see they fucked up. Cause my little look, what, what, God damn it, I ain't got my damn scarf again. Y'all, I don't know where my scarf at. Y'all, I, I usually have my damn scarf because I think I do the bird. You know, the bird boss, you know what I'm saying? They just going around, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they walk in my face, not by sight. Because my Leo said, fuck that. I know something got to be better than this. Because all this, I know God ain't going to give me nobody that's more fucked up than me. God, I didn't know. Because I've been doing, I've been putting in work with God. Can't, he ain't going to do that to me. Because God, he, he watch over babies and fools. And he got a soft spot for thugs. And I'm a baby. So, with that being said, my Leo said, I don't care how much I love this motherfucker, but my Leo's going to walk the fuck off. Don't walk off from that ass. Oh, yeah, they see my Leo listen. They watching that ass walk off. My Leo, make sure y'all twist. Or my niggas, y'all make sure y'all bop hard. I'm talking about some listen. Y'all put that swag in all the way in there. Y'all know how it is. You know, once you go Leo, it's hard for them to go back. My Leo, they see you calling ass and you ain't saying nothing. Now they realize they love you like, damn. I ain't never had nobody like that before. My Leo's look. They is all on your social media. They probably riding past your house. They stalking the fuck out of you. You hear me? They stalking the hell out of you. They so confused. They don't know what to do. It's all good though, my Leos. Because they shit coming to an end too. And guess what? They shit coming to a motherfucking end because they tried the wrong person. God said, do not touch my anointing. When I tell you it's turning around so fast right now, my Leo said they had to fucking clear it. They had to fucking clear it. The shit came to an end and then they don't took their ass off on somewhere. My Leos looking back like shit, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Check, mate. That's the best thing could have happened. There go justice. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody. Listen, some of my Leos. Don't let this spook you. Some of my Leos, if y'all ever had anybody in the past that y'all dated that passed away. 
they coming back in the form of somebody else. They don't remember who they are. They don't know who they are, but you will get somebody that's going to remind you of it. I don't know who this go to, but this go to somebody. Somebody could have a Sagittarius, but it's like my Leo's. My Leo's like you in all you in autopilot, but somebody holding on to the fact like oh I'm coming back I'm coming back when I like you gonna like you gonna, like we really gonna be sitting that way. Do a bear shit in the woods and wipe his ass with a white rabbit. That's when you gonna make a Leo wait on some shit. So my Leos got listen. My Leos standing guard. They got it. my Leos like I'm trying. I'm focused on my Leos focus on their business, trying to set this foundation. Yes, sure we want this family and everything, but my Leos is something toxic. It's some toxic shit. Maybe Capricorn energy. Some toxic shit. Some lies. Some cheating. Listen, some of my Leos. Some of y'all might even have somebody trying to put their fucking hands on you. I'm going to tell you something. You only got one. To my Leo females, you got one motherfucking daddy. Don't let that motherfucker put their hands on you because I bet they want to fight another dude. Somebody somebody got somebody putting their hands on you because this person so damn toxic. Oh, yeah, they are. Listen, when I say toxic. <laughs> woo. Wait a minute, my Leo. So, oh, my Leo coming through. Okay. Okay, my Leo. Okay, my Leo. That's all I need to see. My Leo, this person so motherfucking toxic. This person believe they own fucking lies. My Leo's don't manifest this shit. My Leo's got a wish coming, truth, a celebration coming. J or B could be somebody initials. I don't know who this significant with. That probably the person that did you wrong. But guess what? My when my motherfucking lion show up. It's a wrap. That's all it took. It's a wrap. That's all it took. Whatever they did to you, that was enough to slap you in the face. Then they stepped on your motherfucking part and it cut it. Molly owes you at the beginning of a brand new journey. Congratulations. A wish is being fulfilled and it's something dealing with your fam with around family. My Leo's the old you. When I say the old you is dead and gone, it's a wrap. You ain't taking no more. You seeing things for what it is and you paying attention. So that's what this Cancer Moon. I'm not the Cancer Moon. I'm sorry. Well, we had the um. I think the new moon was Cancer. But this Cancer season, that's the lesson that this Cancer season is teaching us that we should should be obtaining it. Now I don't know about y'all, but I know I've been obtaining it because I don't. Oh Jesus! I got pumped a little earlier in the week. I thank God for letting me get pumped, allow me to get pumped. I looked under my seat, y'all. I looked behind the car, under the steering wheel. I did not see Ashton nowhere, y'all. I swear to God, Ashton wasn't there. I ain't even see that little devil that's gonna jump out and say, "Hell, day." I I got like I don't know. I was I was fucking flabbergasted. But guess what? That was the best thing that ever could have happened because that was the last piece of me that I had to release. So some of us, like a lot of us, growed up in the streets, in the hood. That you know what I'm saying? That's all we know. We talk like that. Like I have to take, listen. I be trying. I take my time. It's the characters. Is whichever one pop out, and then I talk so goddamn fast. So that's why y'all see me do that. I talk too damn fast. But that part of me from when i was younger that part of me is dead and gone that's a part of me that grow me that that's what that's a part that's a secret weapon that i forever hold i'm intelligent as well but them streets oh i'm on that too that's a secret weapon that you'll forever hold and that person was the last piece of that street life that you had or whatever life that was you had that person letting that person go was the last straw when you let their ass go who think about no more <laughs> they got us fucked up because it's almost Leo season. Thank you, Cancer season. Because listen here. I got my Cancer Leo. I'm the last one on the cusp on the 25th of July. So I'm a Cancer Leo. So I be in my feelings too. But guess what? I don't learn this less. I don't pay it off my motherfucking debt. Y'all know how long it took. Shit. Almost 41 years. Don't try to judge me. Shit. At least I got it by now. It's okay. It's okay. I got it now.